the many characteristics that dementia affects on a person, artistic ability does not seem to be one of them. That is why the McCormick Day Program provides those battling with dementia an art therapy program to help communicate what words can't. In an evening spent featuring artwork from the art therapy program, art therapist Emily McIntosh and program director Karen Johnson explain how beneficial art therapy is for those battling dementia. These groups are really meant to kind of enhance the therapeutic qualities of art and um, also to kind of be a place, a safe place for people to express what they're feeling and what they're going through. One of the things I really love is when we have a client go into the art therapy program who has no experience with art and it's not something they're really that comfortable with and then you just pull an artist out of them. It's really magical to see, really wonderful. Very true. Also providing insight on the art therapy program is Fanshawe student Janelle Brown who is involved with the elderly patients. Like it's hard to deal with if you don't know how so that's why we kind of learn about it and try and deal with better ways to deal with it and help people understand how to cope with dementia better um, and how programming can affect like can help dementia just like the art therapy that we're doing. And lastly we talked to member Mike Vita of the McCormick Dementia Services who explains his passion for art therapy during his battle with dementia. The best part of it is to be able to conceptualize something that I really enjoy it. And I'm no, not causing you know, anybody any grief. So it's, it's, it's exciting to see this many people in the room and all of whom are being touched in one way or another with what they've seen and what they've heard so far. Elena Cameron, Fanshawe Learns.